Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the lecture for the month of March 2015. It's called Laugh It Off. Laugh it off, guys. Don't take it so seriously. It's all good. It is fine. It's going to work out. We are going to make it work out. Uh, this is in response to a video mail question I got. Um, sometimes I do this. Sometimes I say, you know what? Let's just Let's just make this all about what you guys want and not me. I'm easy. I'll go with the flow. I got a video mail question a while back that um, basically just asked me about um, animating a laugh. And I realized it dawned on me that I've spoken so many times about how to animate a laugh, but I've never really shown you guys that I might as well uh, do one. Just do a demo of, of this technique. Now, where does this where does this come from? Well, as you know, my um, well, basically, let me say this uh, one thing. My microphone has been on the fritz, and if my microphone freaks out, I will uh, I will uh, stop the recording. I have to unplug it, plug it back in, and I'll edit them to them together. But if there is like this weird break, like right in the middle of a sentence. It's because of the microphone, okay? So I apologize in advance if that happens. Anyway, um, way, way long ago, uh, in the very first, what, what the, I opened this site with four lectures. The lip sync, the contact, the secondary action, and the workflow lectures. Those were the, the, the four that I kind of opened the site with. I had done those and I had a blogger site. It was kenyroy.com, but it was a blogger um, site. And I had just like PayPal downloads for those, for those lectures. And then I'm like, you know what? Probably be a lot easier to do this all if I had a regular way to update it and blah, blah, blah. So here we are. But in that lip sync lecture, one of the main points that I, I made was that Lip sync is based almost entirely off of feeling. It there's there's almost no there's almost no such thing as a mouth pose. There there are and there there there, there aren't. I, I would agree that there are there are certain sounds that unmistakably you will expect a certain shape in the mouth like ooh you just know that it's going to be kind of like puckered and narrow ooh and e you know it's going to be sort of like smiley and wide but <clears throat> we don't base our our the, we don't as an audience we don't base the accuracy that we perceive the lip sync to have on the shapes of the mouth at all it's is 99% feeling and, and so what does that mean? It means that does it really look and feel like the air is kind of like escaping from, from this character? Are they doing the right things to make it so that they are realistically speaking? Not necessarily accurately speaking, but realistically speaking. One of the things that I'd like to point out is how in um, novice animators lip sync there are very there there's never enough time given to an open mouth shape before the beginning of a uh, open mouth word especially at the beginning of a sentence or in the middle of a sentence after a long pause case in point and you've seen me do this a couple times but it bears repeating case in point i'm going to go to the store and i'm going to buy some cheese now that didn't look weird that the way i did it right now but if I was to be thinking about it in the middle of that sentence, thinking about what I'm going to buy at the store, which is cheese, there would be a very long open mouth shape while I'm thinking about it. In fact, I've said this before, you can almost not open the mouth for too long. Like it will, it will hold up for audiences for like, if you hold that open for like five seconds, okay? You can come up with, or a better way to put it is, you can come up with a performance choice that will support an open mouth, like a five second long open mouth with that 
that uh, that line of dialogue that I just gave you. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some cheese. So let me show you if you're thinking about it and there's about a two second pause. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some cheese. All right? Boom. Done. What most people do is they cl they zip up that mouth. I'm going to buy I'm going to go to the store. And then they put that like mouth back to zero. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some cheese. And then the mouth like pops open on the word and and immediately audience taken completely out of that. Because it's not realistic. We are breathing. We are thinking and it and and our thinking like slows down these the 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 movement of our lips and our jaw. That's what I'm talking about with realism as opposed to accuracy. Does it matter if the mouth shape for the and I'm going to buy some cheese the and word is like this? Like an and I'm going to buy some cheese or like this? And I'm going to buy some cheese. Does it matter? Either of those look look fine. So the pose so when so when it doesn't feel right the last thing you want to do is, is start screwing around with the poses because you can get those about 85% there and they're fine. It's the movement into and out of those shapes and, and creating the feeling that the character is, is actually delivering those lines. What's another part of that? It's the fact that we have a natural kind of breathing pattern and an up and down and some words are actually spoken with your body and not even your mouth. So if you say, ha, that's, that's the dumbest thing I've heard, it would look really weird if you go, ha, that's the dumbest thing I've heard. Ha, that's the dumbest thing I've heard. Something's off about what I'm doing right now, isn't it? Ha, that's the dumbest thing I've heard. I'm going to turn into a dragon. Ha! That's the funniest thing, or, or what did I say? Ha! That's the dumbest thing I've heard. Ha! That's the dumbest thing I've heard. It looks weird, doesn't it? Why? Because it, com it is completely, completely negating, it just like dropping the fact that this is a human body that's making that sound. And, ha! That, that's, that's energy. That's air being pressed out of whoosh, my body. How come you're not seeing it in my body? Ha! That's the dumbest thing I've heard. <clears throat> How come you're not seeing that? And, and, and what should it actually look like? Well, I've said this before. Laughing. <clears throat> oh, let me go back before I say that. We call these things in lip sync that are nonverbal, I call them anchors. They are the little like pops, clicks, smacks, uh, stuttered breaths, big breaths, um, a little like a wavering in the voice. And what are great about those when you were listening to a piece of dialogue and you hear an anchor is that it's a, a chance for you to take a little bit of the pressure off of the lips and do some animation with the body. If the, if the line is, well, I don't know, I guess that sounds fine. Maybe they're mumbling and they go, well, I don't know. That, well, I don't know. The lips completely unimportant during that moment. Right? Because who are you to say, or who am I to say, that during the sound... I don't know. Like, what the lips should actually be doing. No one can tell. All right? A hundred people will do that a hundred different ways. They're all fine. Because when you hear that sort of like warble and wiggle, that's a chance for you to take your character and take some pressure off of those lips and put it into the body. And so the line would be, I don't know. You know, this is the warble. 
this is what's making the, 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 the sound and the energy kind of have that waver to it. It's the body. And so I've always said this, laughing is the easiest anchor in the world um, in the world to, uh, to animate. Why? Because ha, 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 a laugh, ha is entirely energy leaving the body. And the mouth and jaw, you just need to throw them open and then animate with the body. Ha, 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 do you see how different it was? I'm going to go even diff even more different to illustrate the point. Listen to how different the sounds. It's not just ha 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 ha. That's not a laugh, right? <clears throat> also, looks really weird, doesn't it? My jaw and lips just doing the same thing and doing all of the work. Ha 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 ha. Very weird, right? That's also not how a laugh sounds. It's not just one like ha sound over and over and over. Now listen to this. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all over the map with a frozen, frozen jaw and lip. Okay, and let my body show the audience the difference and like where I'm going with the laugh. Okay. <laughs> are in point so so and this is the uh, thing that i like to do oh that was good that popped my ear oh i could hear uh, it was so loud in my ear all day and it popped it yay laughing is the best medicine <laughs> okay so what that what that like what that does and what i like to do is to always sort of illustrate the extremes like if this is like the absolute worst you can be and this is the absolute best you can be, like, you know, obviously there's some sort of gradient. There's some sort of spectrum in the middle here. And let's let's push everybody a little bit more towards, you know, towards this side. Right? Or I'm not sure which side I pointed to just now was better and, and worse. Push it towards better, whichever way that was just now. Right? So if it's true as I just illustrated, I think, if it's true that laughing is 100% body and zero lip sync or, or jaw movement, <clears throat> um, of course you can sprinkle it in and make it like even more special by going, <laughs> right? And like the, those big kind of like gigantic pose changes are actually really funny to, to, to pepper in sometimes. So I'm not saying you don't do it, but the fact that you can rely entirely on body and no lip sync, if that's where laughing is, and we know for certain that regular lip sync can't possibly be zero out of 100, Meaning if, 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 if laughing is 100 out of 100, then normal lip sync, it can't be 0 out of 100. It's, it's somewhere on the spectrum, okay? Let's all commit to pushing our lip sync more towards laughing, more towards 100 in terms of what we're doing, like taking the pressure off the lips and jaw and doing a lot more with the body. Okay, let's all just commit right there, all right? So laughing is a great experiment to do. It's a great animation test for you to do, okay? And it's going to be the April Anim Gym. So there's a little little uh, preview for you right there, okay? Laughing is, gonna, is a great test to do because once you do it and you do it right, 
you start to look at lip sync in a slightly different way. You start to think to yourself, where am I kind of focusing too much on those lips and jaw? Where, where can I do more with the body? And take a little bit of pressure off the, the mask here and, 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 and say more with the body. And, and right when you start, right when you ask that question and you start walking down that path, bam, everything's going to get just elevated. All your work, all your performance work is going to just be elevated. Okay? So I'm really looking forward to seeing the April uh, Anim Gym uh, uh, entries uh, based on laughing. And uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see what you do. But let me um, let me whip one up. It's not going to take long, but uh, let me just um, uh, whip one up here. <clears throat> so uh, good old bloke. So I'm just going to do myself a favor and just kind of open his mouth just a little bit, and then um, just do a little bit of that. And then uh, top lids, bottom lids. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just, is this FK or IK right now? Let's make this uh, both IK. Let's just set a, a pose here, you know, with him like holding his belly or something. And this is going to be really easy for me to do. And what I'm basically the approach I'm going to take is to make it so that it feels like there's overall progress from from back to front, and on top of that we have a little bit of sort of like action. Okay. So, um, what does that mean? When I when I when I think in this way, when I when I'm planning something out like this, this is this is a little bit too short and a little bit too easy to do straight ahead for me to uh, do this with tempo. So this is one of those rare cases where I'm not going to use it. But when I'm thinking about this, I'm kind of thinking about it's almost like a cycle. I'm kind of thinking about like what do I want the overall motion to be, and like how can I sort of like layer in the animation. So I kind of want him to be laughing backwards and then f and then forwards and finish. So it's about 48 frames. So laugh, 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 and then and then and forward and finish and settle. And so what I'll do is I'll put that motion on the root, and I will uh, basically just feel out. Did I select both of those things here? Yes, I did. Uh, I'll just feel it out after after doing it straight ahead. And that, you know, what? I hate to say, uh, you know. First try champion, but uh, I think I think we got it. First try, first try, first try. All right, so that was just the rotation. If I'm not mistaken, I tried to. Um, um, but if not, let me just make sure. Also, I'm gonna just um, smooth all this. Ooh, that didn't go very well. Auto. Let me go. And just a little, just a little bit extra right here. All right. Let's grab everything else besides X. Here we go. So now I'm going to add on just a little bit of up and down um, to the root as well.
and it's kind of independent. I'm trying to go kind of evenly. <clears throat> so let's just um, grab that and make sure well, I kind of wanted it to be bigger and s bigger than smaller. So sort of wiggle into a little bit of a range here. Like that. <clears throat> okay, let's watch that. Thinking that there probably can be just a little bit more to this thing and maybe a little bit faster. Now I'm not going to go up to the um, I'm not going to go up the spine yet. Um, I'm actually going to sk skip to the head, so that sometimes what happens is if you're keying and you just kind of like naturally without thinking about it, just like start working up the spine, your your head which kind of does need to have like the ha, 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 very, very kind of like specifically timed. If you try to do that by going upwards and offsetting, then the head motion might not land on the right key. So this is one of those times when it's more important to get the head motion right and on the right key than it is to get um, than it is to like, you know, just like work for speed right now. So um, I'm actually going to choose is this FK and IK? Yeah. That's probably too soon. Let's go two frames. this doing here uh, uh, and just one more and notice how it's going back much quicker than it is going forward And I'll actually have him sort of shaking his head a little bit uh, on the way back. Just a little bit. This is sort of hitting a little bit of a wall here. Let me just investigate why. There we go, that tangent had flatted. Let's just auto everything. Or spline everything. I think it should be fine.
Now I'm just gonna, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna create a locator and um, duplicate it. And then this one is gonna be a child of this one. This one is parent constrained parent. And this one, the child is constrained parent and parent. Just so that I can move both of these um, hands around if I want to and they're constrained. You can see that. So I have I have just one controller now. That's gonna that's gonna work for me. Okay. So now let's do a little bit of work with the um, spine. I'm gonna do overlap in the spine. See, they're fighting each other. See, this is this is this is the situation that that um, and let me make my my stuff bigger so you can see. This is the stuff that is the reason why I did the head first is because I don't want them to fight each other. So if I if I'm happy with my my head movement, what I'm doing right now in the spine is is really simple to kind of troubleshoot and see if it's actually working. Let's actually start him bent over just a little bit more. is just not working for me. And now I'm going to time the offset of the body to the head instead of the um, hips because the head is doing what I want. So about, you know, two frames after the, the head moves. It's going to be a lot more even in the body. <clears throat> another kind of rule of thumb, not really rule of thumb, but another, another thing that I kind of realized a little bit early on is that, you know, the quick movements, like your, 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 your hands or your head or whatever, they're going to bring everything else along for the ride the more power you put into them. So if I move my hand, you know, really quickly, it's, it's going to happen, but then sort of the rest of the... You know, if I do like a, a quick movement and then bring it back like this, that's if I do that over and over, it's still going to me it's gonna mean that it brings my body along for the ride, but the quick and the slow, that's sort of gonna be evened out for the movement of my body. So it's not like it's gonna be quick and then the body's gonna come back slowly. My body is gonna be kind of Kind of just like an even back and forth, so be, you know, being brought along for the the ride. Same thing with like the head. In this case, as I shoot my head back, the the body is going to be taken for a ride a little bit, but it's going to be evened out a lot more. That's contrast within the 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 body. All right, texture within the body. We're talking about. So as you can see, this this rotation. Um, X right here in the spine, this road X is kind of, yeah, it's kind of evened out. Honestly, it's kind of like an even Steven kind of situation.
<clears throat> okay. Now what we're going to do is this has translate, right? Please God, I chose it. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to grab this translate and I'm going to grab the translate Y here. It's probably going to be too much. Let me just redo it. Same thing though, okay? So I'm going to set a key on the translate here and it's going to be it's going to be kind of nice and even but then I'm going to offset it later because the head is making the chest move and the, the or rotate and then the chest rotation is almost going to have a little bit of lag with the with the um, with the chest translation. All right, so these are kind of going down a slope, as you can see. All right, back down to zero. So I'm working almost entirely in the graph editor right now. The big one, ha, 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 and then downwards. and I offset it one frame. The head's doing something weird in this. What is that? What rotation is that mainly? Let me just delete that key. Yeah, I should have I shouldn't have animated that to camera because there's some wacky Y wrote on there. Anyway. Or I guess it's Z wrote. And now I'm going to make the overall rotation, I'm going to make it even a little bit more drastic, even a little bit more. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this translate Y down and I'm going to bring the translate uh, Z. I'm going to animate this actually so that on the very, la the very highest moment right here, He's actually actually forward like this. That that he's counterbalancing the movement. You see? Like that, but transit Y is still a little high. And then the translate Z needs to go back. Okay, like that. Okay, I think the Y needs to go up quicker. I, I do. So let's let's try that. No, it's too quick. And the rotation in uh, this one. There we go. This rotation needs to just overall be a little bit more backwards. Let's 
Let's start playing around with these values. I think we can do more. Oops. That's probably too much. <laughs> So let me turn off, let me, let me just real quick turn off the uh, controls and um, actually let me animate the hands super roughly. Um, let me hide these. Show locators, locators, locators. Right. Oh, forgot to save it. Oh my lord. We do not. We do not want to lose our work. Shame on me for not saving. Um, while I'm doing that, so so um, what I'm taking a second to do right now is to just watch it a little bit without the um, without the controllers because you should and you should do this as well because you can get into the um, habit of kind of seeing what the um, controllers are kind of like wanting you to see and sometimes like so like a character like let's say there's a character that is like all white and is wearing a black belt like that's their character design, like all white and like this black belt. While they're walking towards you, it's like the only thing you're going to be able to see is like sort of like that that rotation, that Z rotation on their hips. It's going to be like it's it's so emphasized right in front of you. Your controllers sort of have that effect as well on on watching your animation. Um, so when you have all these things that are moving around and, and whatever, hide them every once in a while and watch what's happening in the body with without that influence, and uh, you I think you'll be you know pretty happy. Okay, so in so that so it's about fifteen minutes. Okay, so that's about twenty five minutes. In about 25 minutes, um, and you know, narrating what I'm doing as well. But in about 25 minutes, I went from you know zero to this pretty decent start of a layered uh, uh, um, laugh. But there's a couple parts to it that I want to point out that I think are actually working pretty well. One is that is the little bit, um, um, and I would the first thing I would do is probably go back and, and, and start like experimenting with this. Remember, I don't know exactly what's going to happen when I do anything. I'm very experimental. I'll throw something in and see if it looks good. All right, because I know I can fix it really quickly. Or if it's crap, I can delete it quickly and redo another one. But I really like the play between the hands and the and the, and and the belly right there. So I think the hands reacting sort of like almost entirely based on overlap, I think that that's working pretty well. Um, I do like the head speed, but there are, it's filled with, it's, it's hitting a ton of walls. That's not super hard to, to, to fix uh, at all. I do like how um, calm the lower body is in, in that the overall um, backwards lean counterbalanced with the forwards like translation. 
um, is making him feel pretty much um, on uh, on uh, on balance. Um, and then obviously, most of all, I I love that there's no facial animation at all. It looks like the beginning of a pretty decent laugh animation. Okay, in 25 minutes, not bad. Okay, 48 frames blocked in 25 minutes. I'd say that's about right. So, um, it looks like the beginning of a pretty pretty decent laugh animation and there's no lip sync and there never will be in this shot it's going to be 100 percent body the whole time always the whole time okay so um that's what i that's what i like the most about it is that we we kind of got to see and prove that some anchors are so profound and needed and necessary and 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 there for the taking, that um, you can rely entirely on them. And laughing is one of them. And so, if if that is true, then everything coming back from a laugh, everything that is just on this side of 100, uh, in terms of like the balance between body and lip sync, everything probably can benefit from going a little bit more towards body. If you've never listened to the lip sync lecture, it's in the store, check it out. It's great. If, if for nothing else, my little talk about um, anchors, I think is very clear in, in, in that one. Even if the um, video quality, it's in a dark room. I think I was using my, my headset. I got rid of that pretty soon, pretty quickly. But... <laughs> Um, if for nothing else than just the explanation on anchors and to see me animate a piece of lip sync that has some pretty good anchors in it, um, some lip smacks uh, are, are in there, and some uh, some some like um, sniffles like that, pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. If you guys. Um, if, if, uh, this would be a great anim gym for you guys to participate in okay using just the body to do a very lip sync sinky kind of moment that normally we don't do 100% with body trying to do it 100% with body zero lip sync 100% body um, you might already do like 50 50 with laughs your laughs might be already pretty darn good because you have a lot of um a lot of uh, body in there already but i doubt anyone's doing 100 zero so um i think you would uh benefit from that so obviously obviously needs a lot of work uh but i do think that this is the start of something that you know uh, uh would be pretty pretty darn good with some with some work put into it so i will leave you guys uh with that so thanks a lot for watching and uh, good luck with your animation. As always, rock on.